All right, I gotta focus on dodging smaller Ws. Okay, nice. He didn't use it on me. I don't think he knows he needs to hit champions to get stacks. How did that hit me? Look at that damage, by the way. What the fuck? That damage is fucking crazy, no? I should have delayed my auto attack. Okay, well... There is some severe inting going on by the enemy smolder. I don't know what the fuck I just witnessed. I should delay my auto attack here the last hit. I'm, I'm a pick. Why do you like Hearthstone Air so much? The animations are really clean. And they look cool. Like for how cool they look, it plays really well. And that's super important to me. When playing Ezreal. Like it has to feel good when playing, you know? I have TP, so I can actually walk top here. He's not going to push this out in time. <clears throat> this reminds me of discovering the spirit tomb of Ekron. I'm just going to use my TP to come back bot so I can contest the scuttle. Easy play. Little bit of macro, little bit of AD carry macro right there. You like that early game uh, sexy macro right now? Got my jungler a free kill. My mid lane still died though, sadly. What's your opinion about the edge on that tomorrow? I am very happy. <laughs> Most people aren't, but I am very happy because I get to um, finally play this champion in high elo again. But I don't think the nerfs matter that much. I think the, the ult nerf is a bit too much, to be honest, but everything else I don't care. It's fine. I'll drag it with Q-Clash there, it wouldn't kill. I was looking for it, but it wouldn't kill. I wanted my W to come back so I could W Q-Flash. I was looking for that. But uh, yeah, the Q wouldn't kill, sadly. And they're making his R worse than what it was before? Yes, I think the R nerf is overkill. Like, seriously overkill. But everything else, I don't care. The Q nerf, don't care. What is going on up there? Surely he just kills with his R, no? Why didn't he do it earlier? 
He did that earlier, he would have just killed, I'm pretty sure. Like while he was under the tower. How did that hit me? The active frame from that is really insane. Wait, is just getting nerfed? Yes. And it is happening tonight! So, get your Ezreal games in. Maybe some win rate incoming? No, it won't be that bad. He'll be fine, guys. He'll be really, really fine. Impossible comebacks are sort of my special. What's going on? I walked up and killed the enemy jungler. Why is she 1v9ing? Dude, that was nice, thank you. Oh, that's a montage. Mm, it's okay. I just uh, read his movement really, really well. That was it. The best thing is, like, he's a good player. This guy's a challenger mid laner. He's Jizuke, if you know him. He's a pro player. Um, so, because he's a good player, I know exactly how he's going to move. Like, it's literally... Because he's a good player, he died. No joke. What accent does he have? Just wondering. Uh, UK. From London. That's just UK? Yeah, it is. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I really want to get my Trinity and then base and play them up. But I don't want to get too cocky here. They have Vi Galio, which is fucking terrifying. To get the fuck out of here. If they buy all into Gally all me, I'm just instant dead. I hate the word steal. I prefer liberty or procure. Milia smolder kind of weird. It's not. It's not weird. Smolder's W. I mean, Milia W increases the range of Smolder's Q. It's really, really good combo. It's probably one of his best supports. Nah, I'm not gonna buy it.
With the ER, he dies here? No, he doesn't. Trinity Force does more damage than ER early game. No joke. You can even calculate it on the Sheen procs. I just told you that Trinity Force does more damage than ER does, bro. With ER, you would have two bonus long swords. Oh, that's true, yeah. I mean, I'm putting insane amounts of map pressure from bot lane. They need to start winning. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Kind of in his head a little bit. I think Vi's coming bot lane now, so I'm just gonna back up a little bit. I don't wanna give a free kill for no reason, especially when I have a 300 G shut down. Bro, you're cooking my life? Yeah, I know. I'm nailing everything. It's cause, listen, the better the players get, the easier it is for me to land. Unless they're actual AD carry mains, cause Jizuke is a mid main. But Eddie Carry mains have really insane movement. I would say Eddie Carry mains have the best movement out of all roles, by far. I mean, it's part of the role. Like you have to be able to, you know. But if it's a really, if it's like Hunt Summer, it can get really difficult to uh, nail all my skill shots. Lilia should be 1v9 in their drop. I just realized they're by Galio Camille. How the fuck do I survive that late game? And before late game, maybe? I mean, it's not even late game, like, they could do it right now, and I would get fucked over. At least I'm winning bot 1v1 so hard that, uh, then Melio's out of the game. Not Melio, sorry, Smolder. Oh my god, my team are playing well, nice. Probably best actually. Don't worry, I'm not the magic artifact. Do Wengo Trinity? After tonight, never. Always go here. Playing with Bard feels so good because it's the same level as everyone The only reason it's fine is because they also have a pathetic lane. I could do whatever the fuck I want in this lane. Even if Bard roamed away. Even if they both stayed bot lane. But if it's any other lane, I wouldn't be able to. You know, like Nort Samira or Varus or something. I have Essence and Muramana at 16 minutes with 11 CS per minute. Oh, what? Where did the milk come from? My bad. 
Let's let's my bad. I had no idea. Actually, I can go frozen heart. I'm so ahead they can never kill me if I go frozen heart. Galio's never gonna fucking touch me. And most of smallest damage is like 80% uh, physical, so. That's fucking my bad. I didn't know Camille TP'd. What's the process behind TP against Smolder? It's because he's just AFK scaling. So I want to AFK scale as well. I don't, I don't need a combat summoner to fight him. Please fight with me, don't fight on sides. My game is lagging a lot, by the way. I thought Ezra was utter useless champ until I started watching you. It's good people don't know, bro. They don't know about the real power of Ezreal. But to be honest, he can look useless in a lot of situations. I don't know. We're just not doing dragons for 10 years. Teams are already... We could have scaled about 10 years ago. I'm not fighting him because of I. It's right in this bush here waiting for me. He did that on purpose to bait me. Yeah, there you go. Camille's over the wall as well. I gave one really big shutdown to Camille. This is so bad. The game can get hard now. I think she's the only champion on their team that can make this game fucking unplayable for us. Good damage. What does BIS mean? Best in slot. Best in slot. So Essence River will be his best item next patch. I'm gonna push mid here. We don't have Lilia. value is insane. I'm so 1v9 in this game, it's insane bro. It's actually insane. I shouldn't build this. Actually, I should just go to build this now in case they start getting armor. I won't say anything. I'm like unbelievably 1v9 in this game. It's crazy. The amount of place I went top, killed by level 3 on this uh, scuttle. He could back bot, solo killed enemy AD twice. Got full tower on bot, rotated, took two towers mid solo. TP back into this play, killed them, like cleaned them up so we could get Nash. Oh my god, I've got the infinity force, guys. You're not ready. 
Look, the infinity fucking force. I want to be really careful here. Never mind. Bro, I played this game to perfection. Like, I'm sorry, this game... <laughs> this game was disgusting. This game was actually disgusting. This game was absolutely batshit insane. Legit. That's probably my best game I've played all season. No joke. From macro to mechanics. Like, both of them. Yo, sorry. Volca 3 Thank you for the Prime. I didn't see. I was too busy playing locked in. Legit. I was so locked in on that game.